All right, uh, hopping right back. in. Wait, what are you saying? YTG, Gal P. Why don't you, you, why don't you uh, mute yourself so then let the let the commentators do all the fun. Come on, man. Into the game. Oh, the Cena. Gal Pit. We get the Gal Pit. Gal Pit pre He's he's been trying to live it out. He said it was very fun. I'm thinking he didn't he didn't multi hit moves trying to land that down throw down air. Pretty good. Yeah. Off to a battlefield start. Uh, I think. Um, what do you think of this map for like both of the characters? Both the characters. I mean, the lag. Greek. This is lag, not great. <laughs> okay, he we'll just runs up, throws him. Lag, 12, easy 12 percent. Does it again. Oh, no doubt. Um, battlefield. I think both characters do get a kick out of shocking, just like that. I think that's going to be prevalent in a lot of characters, especially sorty characters. Um, and but also, Pit does have the projectiles, so Pit does have projectiles that can pass that really too. Mhm. Mm uh, it's true. Okay. Great combos. No sweet spot, unfortunately. He thought he was gonna drift back. But yeah, just playing out the neutral right now. Seventy percent to about forty-eight. Hit. Sort of a kind of combo character. You can definitely get lost in the washing machine of the dry cycle blades. Solid back hit coming out. Both characters trying to feel each other out, using tilts, trying to range it out. Back to another neutral setting. They're just going ham, but they miss each other. Kind of scramble out for it. Sorry for the loss of words. I'm just having... It's really, stra really strange um, interactions here. I don't think any of them are like really picking a uh, defensive option. Even yeah, counter... Both of them are like, pretty aggressive. Now that you bring it up, they're, they're really trying to go for Really each trying, to, trying to hit each other. Okay, set back to neutral. And they're just doing classic, like, jumping pairs, right? Or jumping tilts. Okay. Okay. Good epic hop. Yeah, you gotta have to really, uh, respect... He can go from back throw, but what is probably gonna be the hand suspect. What do you think is Pit's best throw in a case like this? Squirt throw. I mean, he just killed. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, the down, mean, yeah, down throw is gonna get you, like, combos yeah, as well. Maybe, Here we go. Yeah, maybe a down tilt combo, I was like hoping for something like that, but I guess go for the oh, kill, that's the easiest thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Good Alfie. Alfie. Was that, that actually out of shield? I mean, he, he kind of tracked him when it, when that happened, but no. Oh. Just a solid punish overall. Just trying to reset. Okay, stage control. Uh, Alright, a punish. Damage. It's kind of a light punish, but a punish nonetheless. I'm gonna try and pressure him out again. again Pit's really holding his angle. Mm. You know, holding that part of the stage, he's not letting but, him um, get back on. Yeah, the dash stage. back, no roll in. Of course. Yeah, if it okay. was wait, wait, wait for the wake up, no dice. Okay. Yeah, so just playing so about a roll's length away. Roll's length away is just really, really strong in this kind of scenario. Just to bait out any kind of tools that he has yet. Something like there. He's, even though he missed his punish, he was still in a, like, a good position to try and punish him out of it. So he's going to be out of percent for a down tilt there. So he's going to have to look for more conventional means. I think for both players, dashing back and F smashing is probably a really good option because both are playing a really aggressive game. They're, just, they're button mashing. <laughs> they hit buttons. Okay. Side B. No dice. Okay. Finally. Finally a bear. The only reason that bear worked... Only reason why that bear worked is because Lucina stood still. And they weren't in motion. So... They are not tracking each other as well as they are. Okay, no oh, punish need that. Oh. Um, ninety percent. It's okay. You can you can probably manage it. It's definitely hard for Lucina because she's a, she can be quite an honest character. Both both of them can be quite honest. I think but um, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, he's been kind of letting Lucina do her thing. Back. Yeah, yeah. she's even at the pressure. I mean, he he understands that just you have to bait and punish. For, but... Okay, fair. Interesting choice. Know. Probably should have reversed it. That would have definitely been a kill. Okay, no up the. Maybe yeah. Just, and, uh, into an up smash, and that closes out the match. All right, great shark. Works out. So for both characters, they're playing the matchup very aggressively. I mean, both of them can aggress. And the person who a... starts, the person who starts realizing that they can play defensive, is probably going to be the one that wins. And I think that's probably going to be Trent. He's just been getting a lot of um, offstage interactions or just mm -hmm. some trap scenarios. That it means he gets to practice playing defensive. We're trying to dash back. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, any 
changes changes the characters, do you think, from both of them? No, I don't know. I think he's going to stay fit. I'm not sure about YGG. Mm. He's probably well, going to stay, stay, stay the Yoshi, course. Right? Sorry? He used to play the Yoshi, right? Has yeah, I guess so. But I mean, like, he's been playing Marth in Melee, so I think there's a bit of an analogous transition in between these two characters, but, um... Go for Swordies more rather than just Yoshi. Oh, yes, alright. Ness? He also played Ness. But I, I think we're gonna see him hold back a bit further. And try and throw PK Fires a lot more. Keep, keep the distance, like, go back to more zoning, I think. I think that will benefit him, because, like, last time he was kind of forced, because Lucina has no projectiles, he's kind of forced to go aggressive, versus Pit, uh, because Pit does have the aggressive. Um, well, that, that's the thing, right? I think like... Lucina is really strong when she can play defensive because all of her tools can snuff it up. But going back to this game, Ness, just throwing projectiles, being at a more rolls distance away. Okay, Thunder, not quite working out. Yeah, see, so we can just see a shift in terms of mentality, I think. Playing a lot more defensive, shielding a lot more. So, YGG knows his place in this matchup is to, yeah, try and bait out that Nair, bait out that Fair. And, cares, and, and just punish it. with something hard. But PK Fire is a really good punish because it kind of covers their distance. That was such a... <laughs> they could've, he could've slapped. Yeah. yeah, so just picking... His first option isn't to Nair for YGG. He's just gonna wait. Break there. Very devastating. Hard, but he did, so... Okay. And he's still I... 51%, which is... He, he's got half his stock left, essentially. Before mm -hmm. Pit can really do something that will, you know, kill him. Yeah, so we're gonna have to wait here. Um, something, yeah, crazy. If we can blender him up, no. Just kind of missing here, unfortunately. Yeah, lots of whiffing, but not, not, really any punish uh, not really any punishing on the wrists. I mean, like, whiffing, whiffing as in itself is pretty alright. Like, you can just wait your turn. Okay, good. Solid wait on the landing. Good for downloading some data on your opponent. Okay. Do you think, like, so far that now that he's played two games of Pit, do you think YGG has, like, a little bit more of a grip on how Trent operates? Um, I think he just, he's, Trent is kind of just playing this like a Wi-Fi warrior, really. He's just kind of doing your normal bread and butters as Pit. Like, he's, he's definitely labbed some stuff out, yeah, trying to land that back air, but he's drifting out, so... It's on him to sort of figure it out that he's drifting back how, constantly. Yeah, how Richard drifts. And there you go, the down throw. No dice. No. Oh, that should not have fit. Hate this game. No sweet spot on the bear, unfortunately. F smash? Okay, fourth throw. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was just a fourth throw at that point. That Bit of a slog of that first stock. But yeah, both players kind of sitting pretty right now. 50% is fairly easy to make up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I would have just gone for like bear. Oh, great punish. Can't really. You can't really cross that up, unfortunately. I mean, it takes a lot of, like, preparation, I suppose. Like, you, you gotta know how to... where the opponent's gonna land if you want to land one of those things, but... Good good on Richard, either way, for actually landing that, and in tournament, too. Alright, so there. Landing there, clips him the last bit. Alright, there you go. So... He, he knows what to do, Trent knows what to do, in situations where he needs to get the punish, but... Right now, when he's forced to be oh, he aggressive, so no, no. he's not going for his level two. He's not overshooting. He's not yeah, like he's a bit safe, like he's not, not like last time he tried to go for the. Okay, um, break down, down to a good coverage. Well done. You're just kind of waiting for him to get back and trying to punish a ledge action. I mean that's totally fine. Like you don't have to punish everything you have. Yeah, but nah. yeah, nah, I'm nah, talking nah. more about it in a neutral sense, right? When they are back in neutral, right? He's just going to go for the first attack and not. Bait anything out. Mm -hmm. okay. Great combo. For a frame trap. So that was up into up smash. Ripping him 65%. Similar situation to last dog. No roll in. Yeah. Safe no, boy. No, I don't do it. No, he, he, okay. no, so I was I would try and punish landings as much as I can. Oh, with the, against the nest. Against the nest. Okay, no jump. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Solid recovery. Good Nair out. So slowly building that percentage up. 30% now. Gap is closing. Just holding, trying to hold that center stage, but he's being quite aggressive when he does it. Now, no punish, unfortunately. That's facing. Difficult too. 
I think like at the, at the ledge. Nah, he's not getting it, buddy. All, all again. I mean, like I said, you gotta wait for those punishes. I think you just did it at the same spacing again, but it turns out it works. Uh, it's gonna it work out. Works. That's, that's all you can hope for. That's true. So 2 0 right now in favor of Trent's pit. Why is he kind of scrambling right now? I would probably go for the Yoshi tried and true. I haven't played him much. Like, have you played him much? Have you seen much of the Yoshi around? Seen, I, haven't seen I have not. Much. I have not. So, I mean, he's he said it himself. He's just been playing a lot of melee. Oh. There are definitely a lot of transferable skills, I think. Mm -hmm. Things like spacing. Yeah, but melee in Smash, in Smash, in some cases, you're quite limited to like, what options you have in terms of spacing. Like, you only get one dash length. Oh. So. Might yeah, be, might be a bit and difficult. And your prediction is right, that's the Yoshi. Yeah, I mean, it's probably his most comfortable pick right now. Probably the easiest to kill with out of most of the characters there. There you go. What Yoshi. Do, what do you think, like, Yoshi would be looking for at this moment? Like, against someone like Pit? Well, um, they're trying to just find out neutral right now. Trying to land aerials, just dodging it. Both players are kind of looking for that option for anti air Because both have, like, solid landing aerials. Right. So something like that, yeah. Nair is just an all-around great punish for both characters as well. Is it? I'm not sure. I I think it's that's a bit too fast. Mm, way, probably it's a, probably it's something strong option, like that, right? I mean, neutral. it's a good get off me too. You're right on that. Okay, no punish for the up smash. Egg throw. Oh. The egg. Good stuff. Nah, he's living. Okay. Bears out of down for you're crazy. Okay, just keep constantly hitting in with these snipes, calling out those air dodges, especially because he air dodges frame one <laughs> as YGG. Yeah. So he's definitely got, latching got onto that. that. You know, finger glued onto the shield. Onto okay. His shield. okay, doesn't take it. Okay. He's trying to vibe for some egg control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's trying to stay away a bit from the pit. Even yeah, kind of. Like the ledge, which is extremely dangerous. It is, it is. So he's giving up stage control, but it's also the fact that it kind of just hits you. It's like an annoying, like parabola, yeah. that makes it really like difficult to sort of defend against. You kind of just have to put up, put yourself up and chill. But he oh, got been unfortunate. Um, I think he was just lost in the sauce there. Mm. Okay, so there another one. Mm, nah. Ooh, okay. nah, just... recovers back safely. I mean, I respect that. I think if you did land that like a strong there. Or even something like bear would have been really good. But yeah, we're not actually we're not seeing like bears enough. I think bears would be nice. Cause I mean, option make him forced to um, reevaluate how long he holds shield for. He can't just like hold it as soon as like nair hits. Acro hits with the arrow. These arrow extensions they they build up. They're irritating to get hit by. So. I pin up to know how irritating that is. Um, it's true. So as long as he can get those like three, four percent shots, right? He can just take on. It's taking more than just percent, right? It's dealing like mental he... damage. Hmm. Ooh. The eat. longer these match drags on, the longer like they have to play. The more time they get, more wanting to end this. And being on one sixty one percent, like one sixty one percent must be very frustrating for like. He is just not finding it. Uh, something like a well placed F smash right now would be really good. If you could, like, uh, or even up smash, yeah. Just uh, some kind of strong punish option. It's kind of what he was looking for. He's just not doing it. Not there you go. Oh, <laughs> going for the egg. No, he's got flaps, dude. Enough. Even if he didn't match like really hard, if he had arthritis, he wouldn't yeah. get it. And he's, he's now on last dot, and Pit's still on 180%. That, yeah. So. If you could get inside by GG's mind, it'd probably be like, I've got to finish this game. There you go. I've, I've yeah, used it up there at a hit stun. What a loser. <laughs> Alright, that works. Mm -hmm. Just the folder. Still going for the, just these kind of aerials to try and see. Fair? Okay, no. Going... He's just got to mix it up some more here. Mm -hmm. Something like there could work. Definitely. But yeah, both like players little... just kind of hitting buttons. I know. Suss it's each other out. It's, it's, it's gone back to that like game one where it's like more aggressive. Like... Right, but I think both. I think YGG has kind of leaned into his role. He has to play defensive, even though he's like two socks down and at a high percent loss, mm -hmm. because he kind of just can't really contend with Pit's uh, disjoints uh, right now. Disjoints, yeah. The disjoints yeah. Are, are a pain if you play a character like Yoshi, because like there's no disjoint on Yoshi or like any character that 
doesn't have a sword or like extension hitbox. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a common matchup that people have to learn this, like the brawler swordy matchup. As in, like, as a brawler, you want to kind of force a lot of interactions as much as you can, but I don't think Wang Gigi is really doing this as much. He's not properly with punishing, he's not picking the right options. He should be yeah. looking for, like, yeah, yeah, the biffs, as you said, and like trying to more there you go. avoid, avoid him. Oh, no punish. Avoid Unfortunate. While he's doing his aerials or anything with a disjoint, because like. No, he's dead from that. Oh, Burns his double jump. Unfortunate. But, um, I mean, like, the, he had promise, I think. I think maybe his Ness was best, um, actor selection. Mm -hmm. Lucina was very aggressive, and I don't think that's the right thing. Yoshi was just, um, Yoshi just inexperienced. Like, he's he's kind of lost it, but mm, he lost the a bit from, uh, Trent's pit. Expecting to see a lot more from it as the mm -hmm. tournament progresses. Yeah, what would you like to see most from Trent's pit? Um, I don't know. Cool up smashes. Just hit and smash in general. Yeah, okay. I, I would like to see him complete that combo like at the ledge. Definitely. Mm -hmm. so he just kind of... GG! Yeah. More like a string though. 